An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Unfortunately, it might take a little bit more than one apple at the moment, but it's a good place to start. I'm Rachel. I work for Healthy Cornwall as a healthy lifestyle delivery advisor. And if you hadn't already guessed, I'm going to have a quick chat with you today about the importance of getting enough fruit and vegetables into your diet. We all know we need to be getting five a day in, but why? Fruit and vegetables give us vitamins, minerals and fibre, which are all really, really important to help us keep our bodies running healthily and happily. There are a few different ways which you can get them into our diet. So fresh is the obvious choice. We can also go for frozen, which again is absolutely healthy. Tinned is fine. We just need to double check and see what it's being kept in. So we ideally, we don't really want any sugar or salted water and we don't want our fruit to be in syrup. We'd like it to be in its natural juices. Speaking of juice, having it in a juiced version is fine, but we only want a very small amount. 150 millilitres maximum is going to be a portion of fruit juice. The reason being is that our bodies don't have to work very hard to break it down at all. And so the sugar gets released into our bloodstream very quickly and that can cause a blood glucose spike or a blood sugar spike. And that means we're getting a lot of energy in one go and it's very hard for us to burn that off. So it's better if we can have our fruit and vegetables um, in its whole solid form as opposed to juice. Also dried is absolutely fine, but what we need to do dried wise is have a much smaller portion. So a portion of fruit or veg is um, an apple, an orange, a banana. It's something you can fit comfortably in your hand or a scoop of something if we're talking about vegetables. When we're talking about dried fruit, we want to have a smaller amount because we need to imagine what the fruit was like before it was dehydrated. So we don't want too much. So with our raisins or any other form of dried fruit, it's not going to be what you can comfortably hold in your hand, but it's going to be what you can fit in this smaller part of your palm. So if we're having our five a day, we want to think about the ratio. Ideally, we'd like you to have more vegetables than fruit because they are much, much lower in sugar. But really, unless you have any specific dietary requirements, for example, if you're diabetic and your diabetic nurse has given you um, specific um, information as to what you should have fruit wise, then really a couple of pieces of fruit, pieces of fruit a day are absolutely fine. Don't get too caught up on the sugar content of them. The vitamins and minerals, very simply put, are displayed by the different colours of the fruit and vegetables, which is why you want to get as wide a variety of colours as you can in your plate. It doesn't only look nice, but it's really, really good for us. It means we're getting a nice array of nutrients, which is, again, just going to be beneficial for our bodies. So if you don't think you're getting your five a day in, then have a little look and see how you might be able to fit it in. For breakfast, if you're having a breakfast cereal, perhaps you can slice up a banana or another piece of fruit and go on top of that or mix it in with your porridge. For lunch, you might be able to use a piece of fruit as a dessert or the same in the evening. Your evening meal, or if you're having a large cooked meal, ideally half your plate should be vegetables, a nice wide variety of vegetables. And then they're also really good to have as snacks. You can have a piece of fruit as a snack or perhaps carrot sticks or celery sticks as a snack. Things that also count towards your five a day are your beans and pulses. So our chickpeas, things like that. Baked beans also count. But see if you can get the reduced um, sugar or salt version. And also our sweet potatoes. Um, although they are potato, they do count towards one of our five a day. So, as I've said before, if you are already getting five a day, give yourself a pat on the back and see if you can get some more. But if you are not, then see if you can put a couple of these things in place to get your five a day in. It will be worth it. Um, your body will thank you and I will thank you as well. So keep looking after yourself, um, get your five a day and I will check in with you later with some more information. Bye bye.